this brings us to the end of this course uh, hopefully i was able to meet your expectations which you had when you signed up for this course um, we introduced you to the sap netweaver gateway how sap netweaver gateway acts like the connecting link between sap and the outer world we talked about o data service and how http requests are sent from the client and how sap manipulates it and then sends the response back in the form of o data service we explained the demerits of point to point solutions and other terminologies and concepts of o data and netweaver gateway in the second half of the course we created our o data project in t code segw hopefully you did the practicals hands on along with me and um, uh, we registered and activated the o data service at the gateway system using the t code slash iwfnd slash ment underscore service finally we tested and debugged our o data service using the t code uh, slash iwfnd slash gw underscore client um, for the practical purpose i had a central hub system so central hub means my sap backend and my sap gateway were two different systems so in such central hub system we write code in the backend but the o data which is registered and generated it is in the front end gateway system okay so but you might have a embedded system as well so embedded means the front end and the backend both are in one system so if you have an embedded system then you will have just one sap system which will act as the backend and the gateway in those cases you would register and test your o data services at the same sap system i hope you had the same level of fun and excitement going through the course as i had preparing the course for you